Hello guys, this is Only Abi Doang and today I'm going to make a continuation video for the last video that I made talking about 50 crosspack features in The Sims 4. Last time I only listed 50 of them, but in actuality, there are more of these crosspack features that I still haven't shared with you, so here's 50 more. Some of these features might be pretty obvious, while some of them are somewhat hidden and not that well known. So with that being said, let's move on to feature number 51. The Eco Footprint feature from Eco Lifestyle affects other worlds from packs. If the conditions are met, you can make that particular world have green Eco Footprint or industrial Eco Footprint with visual effects like the ray of sunlight and aurora on green worlds and filthy pollution on industrial worlds. Most areas start on neutral Eco Footprint, but there are worlds with preset Eco Footprint since the start. For example, Magnolia Promenade will be a bit industrial, some part of San Maishuno are somewhat industrial except the Maishuno Meadows which starts as green, most of Hanford on Bagley is green, this part of Delzol Valley is slightly industrial, this part of Tartosa is green, and the high school district of Copperdale is also a bit more industrial. When you're going to enroll to university, you can apply for scholarships based on your skills. Two of those scholarships, such as the Alley Cat Scholarship for Sims with good bowling skills and Friend of the Animal Scholarship for Sims with good pet training or veterinarian skills, are based on skills from other packs. You'll also be able to get scholarship if you join the scouting after school activity or if you live in certain worlds, even worlds from other packs. By using the Plopsy feature from Nifty Knitting, you can also enlist several craftables from other packs to the marketplace in order to sell them. You can also browse Plopsy and buy different stuff from other packs. Similarly, the grocery and garden stalls located in Hanford on Bagley sell stuff from other packs, such as skill books, harvestables from other packs like these emotional berries, herbs, garlics, mandrakes, alien fruits, whoa, you a space smuggler or something? Coconut, cava root, plasma fruit, etc. If you dry your recently washed clothes on a clothesline and then they dry up after a while, when it rains, the clothes will get wet again so you need to wait for the rain to stop in order to make them dry again. If you send your dog with the hunter trait to hunt in the world Sulani, they will dig out different kinds of seashells or even Sulani treasures. When feeding chickens, cats and dogs can play around with the chicken feed even though the particles look like junk parts for some reason. Dogs can also be found eating them sometimes. Some occults, including servos, skeletons, werewolves, and vampires, if they equip the sun immunity ability, are immune to any temperature changes, both burning and freezing temperatures, so they will never die of overheating and freezing. Cats and dogs can also react to temperature and weather. When they're outside and the weather is too cold or too hot, they will run back inside. The same goes if it's raining outside. Also, you can see their frosty breath on a cold weather. The same with decent celebrity level can hide from paparazzi by using the photo booth that's introduced in high school year's expansion pack. When attending high school, there's a chance there will be a career day event in the high school auditorium with some professional guests from various careers. Besides base game careers, there's a chance that if you have the packs needed, they may even have doctors and detectives if you have get to work pack and a military personnel if you have stranger field pack. With the camera mounted on a tripod from a Skino stuff bag, if you have pets around, you can also take a photo of a sim with one chosen pet, either cats or dogs. You can also take a picture with kittens and puppies as well with their own unique poses. If your sim got injured, whether it be from skiing, snowboarding, rock climbing, soccer practice, or werewolf fighting, and then they relax in a sauna, their injured moodlet's duration will expire in a much faster rate. With the research and debate skill, you can research about acting and contribute knowledge on acting using the research machine. You can also use a regular computer to publish papers about acting. Unfortunately, besides acting, other skills from packs aren't supported. You can send cats and dogs to walk up or down the wedding aisle. Additionally, with debug cheats enabled, it's also possible to have a large dog, not small dog, as the flower pal for your wedding. I think this was supposed to be a functional gameplay feature, but it ended up being unfinished, so you can only access it in debug mode. However, someone made a mod that makes it possible in normal gameplay, so feel free to check that out. Werewolves with the night vision ability can find various treasures from exploring the underground tunnel in Monwood Mill. 
if they choose to head towards garlic and go inside the garlic room, they'll gain various treasures and objects from other packs, like vampire tomes, garlics, spell tomes, mandrake, valyrian, magic broom, mooncaster wand, cardboard dance floor, yoga mat, dice, facial masks, stands, and many other. Similarly, if you use the dumpster to die for deals, you may also get various types of objects, even from other packs as well. Most of them will be broken though, cause, well, they are literally found in a dumpster. By clicking on the hiking sign, you can hike together with dogs in Mount Komorebi. You can even hike together with more than one dog, and while hiking, all of them will follow along throughout the hiking trail. Seasonal objects can appear on some worlds from other packs in certain seasons. You can find ice skating rinks in fall and winter, roller skating rinks in spring and summer, seasonal food vendors for each season, and other recreational stuff like this water balloon bucket in summer. Cats and dogs will create their own footprints on the snow in the ground in winter. The animals from Cottage Living Pack, like chickens, foxes, bunnies, cows, and llamas, will also create footprints on the snow. Dogs can swim on the ocean or large bodies of water on specific worlds, like Solani, Brightchester, Mount Komorebi, Hanford on Bagley, Moonwood Mill, and Copperdale. So far, the only worlds with swimmable bodies of water as of now are from packs instead of those in the base game. With that said, water vehicles such as jet skis and outrigger canoes can also be used on other worlds with large bodies of water. If you reach level 4 of the salary person career, you will obtain the Charismatic Chrono Reward trait. Sims with this trait will have boosted singing skill gain so they'll gonna rock those karaoke nights. When you're singing to a flock of birds, you will also increase your singing skill. If you have the Celestial Crystal Crown Helmet, you can mount the crystals from Get to Work and Jungle Adventure Pack and each of them will have unique powers when mounted. Crandestine recharges all needs except energy and boosts painting, writing, and child creativity skill. Nightlight recharges all needs except energy and gives temporary night owl trait that boosts skill gain at night. Amazonite recharges only the hunger need despite the incorrect description and boosts archaeology and child mental skill gain. And Alexandrite recharges all need except energy, also with the wrong description, and gives a temporary mystical sensing trait that lets Sim find rarer treasures. To increase your sim's entrepreneur skill, besides selling crafted objects, using trendy, or becoming live streamer, they can also be improved by doing odd jobs, using the Plopsy marketplace, or by doing freelance work from other packs, whether it be as a maker or as a fashion photographer. The draw something on sand interaction from my wedding stories pack can also be done on snow, so you don't have to go to the beach to do this anymore. Some of the cheap apartments with the need TLC lot trade in San Maichuno might have mice problems from time to time. Besides using mouse traps, these problems can also be taken care of if you have a cat around, unless they are afraid of them. You can sit on different types of skill classes by clicking the university building. After that, oh, oh, um, yeah, yeah don't, don't mind that woohoo skill, um, it's from a mod. Um, anyway, all skills from other packs like bowling, veterinarian, cross-teaching, vampire lore, etc. can be learned here for a fee. The sim will then take their time to learn it and then get out of the building once done. If you have a restaurant with the hottest spot in town lot trade from Get Famous Pack, when you want to be seated, you have to pay an additional fee as well. Sims with the squeamish trait can be disgusted with stuff from other packs, like this insect farm, meals made out of bugs, this meat wall plant thing, using the dumpster, cat litter box, having bird flocks poop on them, cleaning this animal shed, seeing the mice from the city living, this dirty woohoo bush, some bugs in the jungle, etc. Mindfulness, an emotional state feature from Snowy Escape Pack that when reached, lets Sims search any emotion at will, can also be triggered by doing wellness activities like sauna, massage, bath with soaks, yoga, and meditating, listening using earbuds, watching bird flock, petting a bunny, playing the pipe organ, reading a magic tome, studying a textbook, taking care of this weird mid wall plant thing again, stargazing, fishing on a canoe, and more. The spooky spirit holiday tradition can also be fulfilled by carving pumpkins, and also by playing spooky music on the pipe organ. 
It was stated that interacting with aliens or vampires can fulfill the tradition as well, but it didn't in my game. If you have city living pack, you can also have the fireworks tradition. If your sim turns into a skeleton because of this magical relic, dogs will bark at them while thinking about some bones. Yeah, just go with that skeleton dog. Emily deserves it anyway. There are certain interactions from other packs that affects your body temperature. You can decrease temperature by getting frozen by Simray, getting frozen by Chilio magic spell, eating an ice cream, drinking cold drinks from other packs like milk or boba tea for example, using the water slide, etc. Meanwhile, you can increase body temperature by sunbathing, drinking hot drinks from other packs like barista coffee or teas, hanging out near a bonfire, using the heater from Sawi Escape, sitting in a kotatsu, etc. Sims with the Frigin trade can ask for discount on a retail store. If denied, they can try for the second time to insist on the discount. If successful, you will only have to pay half the price on any product sold there. But I think it's bugged right now, because even though the interaction says the discounted price, my Steam still pays the full price. Damn, what a ripoff. Servo with the techie lifestyle will get this permanent plus 3 inspired moodlet. Meanwhile, Servo with the technophobe lifestyle will get this permanent plus 3 tense moodlet. You can give wild insects or farm insects to wild animals like bunnies, bird flocks, and foxes. These items may also be their preferred gifts. If you go to Strangerfield after advancing the story and discovering the source of infection, the weather forecast there will be set as strange weather. Similarly, if you go to the magic realm, the weather forecast will always be set as mystical cloud. With Get Together Pack, at night you may encounter different types of bar nights with discounted drinks. On Monday night, it'll be bear night and many sims with the bear costume will visit the bar. On Tuesday night, it'll be alien night and many disguised aliens will hang out. You can edit them and create the sim if you wanna make sure if they're alien or not. If you kick the gnomes on Harvest Fest or any other holiday with the gnomes tradition, you may get random treasures or collectibles from other packs, like gems and medals from packs, or even Void Creator cards. If you use the Wishing Well to wish for youthful vigor but it ultimately fails, your sim will be turned into a ghost. The type of ghost you become is random and it can also be from other packs, which includes Death by Steam, Death by Lightning, Death by Overheating, or Frozen to Death. The Kopi Pasto magic spell spellcasters can use can clone stuff from other packs, such as collectibles, harvestables, plants, foods, etc. Meanwhile, the Reperio spell can increase the quality of craftable objects from other packs. Similarly, you can also use the cloning machine from the scientist career to clone objects from other packs, but it won't work on all objects. The Inverniate spell can be used to light up bonfire, campfire, and leaf piles. With the streaming drone, you can create different video topics based on other skills, even from other packs, as long as you're doing that skill when it's recording. The skill video topics can also become the trend each day. The summon urban myth prank will never work on vampires. Vampires who perform the same prank will also never fail. But if a vampire does the same prank on another vampire, they will just stand face to face and do nothing. Using certain objects from other packs can increase your lot's industrial eco footprint. For example, lighting up bonfire and campfire, having a laser cat litter box, activating the space heater, using the cauldron, having a spotlight and lighting these torches gradually increase your industrial eco-footprint. Meditating causes you to gain skill points on a random skill, even from other packs. This includes baking, dancing, DJ mixing, herbalism, pipe organ, singing, and robotics. Sims who wear the bear costume from Outdoor Retreat Pack or Parenthood Pack cannot bond with bees in a beehive. Additionally, Sims wearing this costume will get a special moodlet when they eat a jar of honey. So those are 50 more crosspack features in The Sims 4, making the list to be 100. Of course, there are many more crosspack features that I haven't mentioned here, so if you know any, be sure to tell us in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Hope you like it, and if you do like the video and want more, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later!